I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the death card and it's with the higher event. Well, the death card can be about deep transformation. It can be about change. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you Cancers is that you came to a conclusion about your person. Yes, you did. You felt like it was time for finality. You felt like um, you were losing interest in the connection. And this death card is with the Hierophant, which is the card below the word pass. Now, the Hierophant is actually a very moral, ethical, and traditional type of person. Really genuine, true, true, honest, loyal, sincere. The Hierophant walks the walk, talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. With a Hierophant, you don't get any games being played with a Hierophant. So, this is what you could have wanted. Someone that was true and sincere. Someone that kept it real. And I'm getting for a lot of you cancers. Yeah, you were dealing with someone that had a hard time keeping it real and being true to the connection. So you lost interest. You felt like the connection had changed in a real big way. So you, you came to a conclusion. And you, you felt like it was time for finality. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we've got this Four of Wands, and it's with the Four of Pentacles. So, Cancer, even though you, you had come to a conclusion, and you lost interest in this person, in some kind of way, you still hold on to this person because the four of wands the card that's below the word present it's about some type of unhealthy clinging yeah just holding on in an unhealthy way um, it could be hard for you to um, go through this death process, which is about change. You're having a hard time changing. You're changing, but it's difficult because you still want to hold on to this person, to the connection. And it's saying it's unhealthy when you get the Four of Pentacles. It's an unhealthy type of clinging. It could have been that you thought this connection was going to go somewhere. You thought it was going to lead to marriage, commitment, proposal, engagement. Because the Four of Wands, a card that's above the word present, yeah, that's the marriage and commitment card. You thought it was going to turn into something serious. So you're actually... You could find yourself having a difficult time moving on. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Six of Wands and it's with the Five of Wands. So it's interesting because the Six of Wands is about victory, success, recognition. 
And then you got the Five of Wands. It's about competition. Struggling for dominance. Now, this person, they could be reaching out to you. Letting you know or... Or you could be feeling that they still want victory with you and with a connection. This person could miss that you're not giving them all the attention that you used to. Because with the Six of Wands, it can be about liking the attention. Yeah, they could be missing the passion that the two of you had. And they could have been the type that brought a lot of competition to the mix. Yeah, because the Five of Wands can be about competition. That's a card below the word challenge. It can be. And this person, they they could be missing you also. You're holding on. But I don't think you're letting this person know. They're missing the victory and the attention that you, you used to give them. But you feel like the connection is just too challenging. Too challenging to be with this person. Yeah, you, for some of you, you had to fight off other men and, or other women just to be in the relationship with this person. Romantic rivals can be the Five of Wands. Yeah, they could have brought a lot of other undesirables into the mix. Now, for some of you, because this Five of Wands is here, this is telling me that some of you were dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Knight of Swords and Seven of Wands. So... Yeah, the Knight of Swords, it can be about um, coming coming in. Your person is coming in, and he could be wanting to talk. Um, the Knight of Swords uh, will cut out whatever gets in their way just to get to their person. Could be reaching out with messages. Your person could be wanting to talk to you um yeah they, this person could be reaching out to you if you two are not together there could be some communication coming in they want to talk they're cutting out whatever gets in their way just to to have this communication to be with you now with the seven of wands here they do want to come out on top. They still want to win the connection. Seven of Wands, a card that's below the word outcome. It's about coming out on top. It's about winning. It's about being the last man standing. And this is actually how your person is feeling. But you feel like, like it's too much, it's too competitive dealing with this person. But deep down inside, Cancer... You're still holding on to this person. You're still holding on to the connection. And they're still holding on to you too. Because the Knight of Wands. Yeah. It's telling me that they. They're, they're coming in. With communication. They're stopping whatever they're doing. Just to. Uh, just to be with you. Or just to have some type of communication. They want to be the last man standing. Yeah, this connection was it was supposed to go somewhere. Coming up and this is why you're having a hard time releasing this energy. You're having a hard time going through the death process. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. 
What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this virus season. Yeah, I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Cancer reading just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.